Jesus the praise and worship that he deserves. Hallelujah. But before that, I want to share this verse to you guys, wherever you are at home. It's in 2 Corinthians 5:17. It says there that now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Come on. Do you guys, the moment that we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior, the Spirit that resides within us come alive. And that's the proof that in us, we receive that freedom. We are already free. Free of all the burden that's keeping us to move forward from the sins, from the pain. And now I believe that um, as we rest on that fact, can we just stand up wherever you are or whatever you're doing, just put it down. And tonight, t today, and this morning, can we start to lift up our voice and give Jesus the praise and worship that He deserves. Hallelujah.
cause you're about to go. I feel it in the wind you're about to ride it. You said that you would pour your spirit out. You said that you would fall the sons and daughters. So
Holy Ghost. Yes, we desire you, Holy Ghost. Come and fill this place. Come fill this life. Come fill this heart with more, with more, with more. We're ready for more of you.
possible to experience the overwhelming presence of God because of the Holy Spirit. So right now, Father God, I know that you did not disappoint us, God. As we were singing, as we are asking for more of you, Lord, right now, God, you're doing something different in the hearts of your people. You're something you're doing, Father God, greater things, God, in our lives, Lord, moving us, Father God, to do the work, to do, Father God, your will for us, Lord. So thank you, God. We thank you, Father God, for your presence this morning. So to you, God, we give to you all back the glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that you enjoyed the presence of God wherever you are at. Amen. Hallelujah. So there's more. Amen. Can you say to yourself, there's more from Him. Amen. So receive the word later. So stay tuned. North Metro! Woo! Come on! Meron pa bang mas malakas sa palakpak dyan? Hallelujah! Good morning everyone and welcome to New Life North Metro Homies Live! Yes! Of course! So, nagulat kayo na? <laughs> so by the way po, for those who join us for the first time, my name is Brother Dennis Sabonita and together with Pastor Eds and Pastor Amara, um, welcome po sa ating service today. So, grabe, napaaganda po ng worship natin. Amen! Napaaganda, leave me astounded, leave me amazed, Lord God. Amen, show us your glory. Amen! Yun yung magandang prayer kay Lord eh. And today, I believe, may encounter mo ang glory ng ating Panginoon. Amen! At sabi nga ni Ate Sherry kanina sa worship, You want more. Amen? You are believing for more. 
you are believing for so much more today. Amen. Come on. Lahat po nang naniniwala, pakitype nga po dyan sa online service, sabihin mo, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And by the way, I would like to thank Pastor Etz for giving me an opportunity po to speak and to share the Word of God in our English service. Hallelujah. But you know, sa mga matagal na pong nakakakilala po sa akin, madalas po tayo, meron tayong tagli service actually. But for now, mer meron lang mang tayong one service. Just for now. Okay po? Due to uh, some changes po. But don't worry guys. no? Don't worry. Um, maririnig nyo naman po yung ating word kasi lagi natin itong uh, binobroadcast or re may rebroadcast to every Wednesday in our YouTube channel. So kapag hindi ka pa nagsasubscribe doon, come on! Mag-subscribe ka na! Amen? So nandun po yung ating mga message, nandun po lahat ng ating mga previous sermon or message. Amen? So grabe! You know what? Sobrang excited po ako today. And I'm expecting talaga na merong changes na mangyayari sa yung buhay. To those who receive, to those who are free, uh, yung op may open ng puso, open yung puso mo to receive this word. May pagbabagong magaganap sa iyo. At, at ang pagbabagong pong ito is from glory to glory. And naniniwala po kung mas lalo kang mamamangha sa kabutihan ng ating Panginoon. Amen? So, before we start, Can I, can I invite everyone to pray? Okay? So, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, to worship you, to praise you. We thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness. And Lord, um, have your way in this, in this message, Panginoon, in this place, Lord God. And even so, those people who are watching online, have your way, Lord God. And I believe na yung presence mo, Lord God, ay hindi napipigilan. I believe, Lord God, yung presence mo ay hindi napipigilan at hindi po nakakahon, Panginoon. And even though, Lord God, kami po ay nasa mga online, Lord, naniniwala ako, may matatouch kang buhay, Panginoon, sapagat there's power in your word. There's power in your message, Panginoon. And Lord, my prayer, Lord God, that every person who hear this message, Lord, ay magkaroon po ng pagbabago. Sila po ay ma-encourage, Lord. Sila po ay mabigyan ng pag-asa, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord God. At mas lalo nilang maranasa ng pag-ibig mo. Holy Spirit, have your way. Let your anointing flow, Lord God. Without your anointing, Lord God, without you, Holy Spirit, hindi ako magtuturo, Panginoon. And I need you every day. I need you every single day, Lord God. I need you Palagi, kailangan, kailangan ka namin palagi, Panginoon. We love you and we entrust to you, Lord God, this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, alam mo, church, ano po yan? Dapat nga po, ito na yung start ng ating um, physical service dito sa MS. But syempre, of course, merong, merong changes due to what's going on, what's happening right now dito sa ating sa NZR. May mga changes po. But I just want to encourage everyone, don't stop in worshiping God. At naniniwala ako mga kapatid, even this kind of situation, ano mang pandemic to, o ano mang, is, ano mang cue ang itawag dito, the church can never stop. Hindi ito mapipigilan. Maaring yung building, oo, but the church is you and me. We are the church. Amen? So, nasan man tayo, mga kapatid, hindi mapipigilan ang ating pagsamba sa Panginoon. But we, we, but we honor our, ano, yung ating government. Talagang we are so blessed talaga na ginagawa po nilang lahat to protect us. Amen? So, guys, makipag-cooperate po kayo. Okay ba yun? <laughs> Wag pasaway. Wag tayong magpasaway. Amen? And I believe lahat po ng mga anak ng Diyos Walang pasaway. Amen! Hallelujah! So now, what are we going to talk about is yung, yung heart ng ating pastor. So yung, uh, yung verse na ganito. Ito yung sinasabi sa Matthew chapter 6, verse 10 in New King James Version. And it says, Your kingdom come. 
Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Matthew 6, chapter 10. That's the heart of Jesus. That's the heart also of our pastor. Kumbaga, when I meditate this verse, kasi itong verse na ito, it's so familiar to us eh. Di ba? Palagi natin naririnig itong verse na ito. Palagi natin itong naririnig sa mga preacher. Palagi natin nababasa itong verse na ito. But when I meditate this verse, when I study this verse, there's much more. Napakayaman ng word po na ito. Napakayaman, your kingdom come. Pag pinag-isapan po natin, your kingdom come, baka hindi tayo matapos. <laughs> your will be done. Pag pinag-usapan po natin yan, sigurado, hindi tayo matatapos yan. And even, even though yung, yung on earth as it is in heaven, yan yung tema po natin. Itong, itong sa mga darating na araw, yan yung tema natin. Di ba? Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So pag-uusapan natin, yung heaven. <laughs> Langit ang pag-uusapan po natin. Kasi naniniwala ako kapatid, na kapag narinig mo ito, mabubus ang faith mo. Pag naririnig mo ito, mabubus ang pag-asa mo. Kasi madami na tayong naririnig. Marami tayong mga unnecessary things, mga negative things na masyado na tayong masyado na tayong napapagod doon. And it's time for us to hear heaven. Pag-usapan natin to. I was so amazed when I studied this and I believe ikaw po ay mamamangha sa mensahe po na ito. And I'm gonna ask you a question, guys. Who wants to experience heaven? Amen. Sino nang gustong pumunta sa langit ngayon? <laughs> Correct, di ba? Everyone, kung lahat ng tatanungin mo, gusto nating ma-experience ang langit. Di ba? Pero, alam mo yun, kung sino nang gustong pumunta sa langit ngayon, kumbaga, wag muna, Lord. Wag muna, hindi pa. Marami pa tayong gagawin. Hindi pa akong nakakapag-asama. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. Mag-aasama mo na ako, Lord. Amen. But, syempre, uh, I was just joking. But every one of us, gusto nating ma-experience ang heaven. Langit. And before we go, before we proceed, what is heaven's looks like? Ano nga ba yung langit? Di ba? Bihira natin itong pag-usapan. Madalas na pag-uusapan ito sa kids. Eh. <laughs> Correct? Heaven is like gold. Ah, cities of gold. Ganun, ganun eh. May angels, may clouds, may throne of God. Mga nakaputing ano, sons and daughters of God. Right now, pag-usapan po natin itong langit. What is heaven's looks like? In Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to 4, it says, Now, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Wala na. May bago ng, bago ng, ano, bagong, bagong langit at bagong lupa. Also, there was no more sea. Oh, come on. Wala nang dagat. So, yung mga mahilig mag-bitch yan. Sorry. <laughs> Wala nang summer. <laughs> Hindi ka na makakapagsuot ng, ano, mga, ano man, yung mga panligo. Wala nang surfing. Then I, John, John, the apostle of God, Jesus, saw the holy city. Nandito kasi si John sa, sa island of Patmos eh. Doon siya kinulong kasi nga hindi siya mapatay-patay. Kinulong siya doon and he saw a vision. Pinakita sa kanya yung vision which things to come. Kasi kapatid, yung vision, yan yung mangyayari in the future. Pinakita sa kanya yung mangyayari in the future. I saw the holy city. New Jerusalem. Holy city. The new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. So, may holy city. Pero ano kaya, gra- grabe, ano? Hindi ko may, ma- ano kaya kasing city yun? Holy city, a new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 
And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, see, ignan mong maigi, the tabernacle of God is with men. Wow! Holy city. The new Jerusalem. And there's a lot, a lot of voice saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Kasama na ng Diyos, kasama na ng mga tao, ang tabernacle, ang presence of God, ang Diyos. And He will dwell with them. And they shall be His people. God Himself will there shall be no more death, nor sorrow. Ah, sorry ah. God Himself will, ano ba to? Nasaan ba ta? Will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear. Yung mga umiiyak, laging nasasaktan, laging nalulungkot. From their eyes, there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, wala lang pigati kapatid, walang matinding kalungkutan, walang anxiety, walang depression, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more, uh, no more worries, no more problem. There shall be no more pain, wala nang may masasaktan. Correct? Wala nang masasaktan. For the former things sa pass away, wala nang luma. Lahat ay bago. Patikim pa lang to mga kapatid. Grabe heaven. Ito yung, ito yung langit. So heaven is a place prepared by the Lord for each and every one of us. To those who believe. Inihanda po ito ng Panginoong Diyos sa atin. Correct? That is heaven eh. Si Lord mismo ang nag-create na ito, nilikaan niya ito para sa'yo. Amazing, di ba? So yung destination mo, kapatid, is heaven. Lahat ng destinasyon ng mga Kristiyano, mga mananampalataya ni Jesus, ay langit. God is preparing a place for you. May bonus. If you think, parang walang nangyayari sa buhay mo, And if you don't know kung saan ka pupunta, listen to this word. God is preparing a place for you. Huwag kang mainip. Huwag kang, huwag kang manghinawa. Just trust God. He is preparing a place for everyone who is watching right now. In John chapter 14, verse 1 to 2, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah, ito yung gustong gusto ko eh. Kasi ang daming troubled ang nangyayari. In, in the past eh, sa mga situation ngayon, ang daming problema. Kung baga pag, when you hear yung mga news, talaga it's chaotic. Para bang no more peace eh. Pag par, nakakatamad ang manood, pakinig ng news. Kasi nangihinawa na, nakakapa, nakakapagod na. But Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe, si, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Hallelujah! Kung wala kang bahay ngayon, kung no permanent address ka ngayon, kapatid, in my father's house, there's many mansion. Meron kang mansion doon. Hallelujah! Sarap! If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. So, nihanda ito ng Panginoong Isus sa atin. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Wow! Grabe kung nasan si Lord, gusto niya na nandun ka din. Kung paano nag enjoy si Lord, gusto niya nag enjoy ka din. Kung anong nararanasan ng ating Panginoon, gusto niya nararanasan mo din. Correct? Kaya nga dito yung, when I study this, nag sa akin yung word na in John chapter 15. I am the vine and you are the branches. Of course, whatever, kung ano yung meron doon sa vine, nagpo-flow doon sa branches. Yun ang gusto, yun yung heart ng ating Panginoon. Maranasan mo kung ano yung meron sa Kanya. Hallelujah! Heaven is a place prepared by the Lord for us. Number two, heaven is a holy city. A city of gold. Diba sabi dito, nakita ni John, 
Diyan, di ba? I saw. I knew heaven and then He worked. Kita niya. And merong new, merong holy city, merong new Jerusalem, may city na bumababa galing sa langit mula sa Diyos. Coming down. So when, who, what kind of city is this? Anong klaseng city to? Kasi when we talk about city, katulad ng Makati City, di ba? Di ba? Tagig City. Amen. Di ba? Quezon City. Anong meron dun sa city? Merong mga ginagawa. May mga activities. May mga ganap. Kung baga, hindi sila stagnant. Kasi we think what when, when we go to heaven, parang there's, there's teaching kasi when when they go to heaven, parang ganito eh. Parang statwa na lang. Oh, ganito lang. Nakaputi. Ganon-ganon. Pero hindi kapatid, may city. Bumaba from heaven eh. Ibig sabihin, may mga mansion pa, may mga bahay pa. Ibig sabihin, merong, merong daily living doon. May pamumuhay doon, kapatid. Di ba po? Para mong may aktividad. Pero hindi ka magtotoil. I, I, I believe, hindi ka, wala nang toiling in heaven. Kasi in heaven, that is a perfect place for us. Perfecto siya, mga kapatid. Dito kasi, sa mundo, sa ngayon, alam mo, may toiling, talagang alam mo yung kahit mag- namimigati, nagpapagod, hirap na hirap. Kasi nga, because of sin, na curse to eh. Pero in heaven, wala na eh. Naniniwala ko, relax tayo doon. Amen? Relax na relax ka, no pressure. Wala na magpe-pressure sa'yo. No more stress, no more worry, no more pain. A city of gold. And the Bible says in Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, kaya pala sinasabi to ni Paul. Listen to this. For our citizenship is in heaven. Ibig sabihin, pag citizenship ka, kapatid, you are a person who legally belongs to a country and has the rights and protection of that country. Kapag citizen ka, ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi ka dayuan. Yes, of course, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Are you getting this? We are in this world, but we are not of this world. And if you think, ito na yung mundo mo, kapatid, you're wrong. Hindi ito ang final destination ng mga sumasampalataya kay Kristo. Ang final destination, ang final, para bang, yung future ng mga sumasampalataya kay Jesus is heaven in the tabernacle of God, the new Jerusalem. Because God is with them. That is the final. Yun yung ating pupuntahan. Hallelujah. So you know what? Heaven is a place that God has prepared for us. Heaven is a holy place. A city, a holy city. Imagine that, kapatid. Anong meron dun sa holy city? Hallelujah. For sure, magkakapit bahay tayo doon. No? And of course, in heaven, maraming mga tao, maraming mga kalalakian kasi sinabi sa Revelation chapter 21. Kung baga, si Lord is with men. Kasama na ng Diyos yung mga tao. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi mong men, hindi lang to nag-iisa. There is much more. Ibig sabihin, may mga fellowship, may mga ganap. Are you getting this? In heaven, sabi po dito, people will no longer walk in darkness and they will reign in life. What does it mean? In Revelation chapter 22, verse 5, there, there shall be no night there. Wala nang gabi, kapatid. Yung mga mahilig magpuyat. Hindi ka na makakapagpuyat. <laughs> yung mga palagi puyat. Kasi there is no night. Wala nang gabi. Wala na rin lampara. There is... They, no, they need no lamp nor light of the sun. Wala na rin araw. So yung mga mahilig mag sunbathing, wala na rin yan. For the Lord God gives them light and they shall reign forever and ever. So ibig sabihin in heaven, we will not, we will no longer walk in darkness. Wala nang kadiliman, kapatid. Kasi when you say darkness, para mang chaotic eh. There's no more there's no more darkness in heaven. And maybe some of you are facing right now kung baga may situation, may pinagdadaanan ng mga may mga madidilim sa buhay mo. 
But in heaven, wala na kapatid. Wala, na, wala ka ng pagdadaanan na kadiliman. Because the glory of God, Jesus Himself, God Himself, is the light. Siya na yung liwanag mo. It means, you will now see clearly what's going on. Kasi di ba, pag madilim, di natin alam kung ano nangyari. Hindi ka, kaka, kumbaga, kapa-kapa ka. Karamihan ng mga tao, nandun sila. Pag madilim kasi ang isang situation, kapag there's, pag there's darkness o may madilim na nangyayari sa situation ng isang tao, a lot of people, hindi nila alam yung gagawin. They cannot decide clearly. Or hindi, nila, hindi sila makapag ng tama. Ang dilim. Hindi nila makita kung anong gagawin nila. But when you have the light, the light of Jesus, the light of God, you will now see clearly. You can now decide what is right. Hindi ka na inahabol ng kadiliman. Habulin ka na ng luwanag. That's in heaven. Of course, heaven is a place of God. Kaya naging heavenly ang heaven because of the presence of God. Correct? Without the presence of God, hindi magiging heaven, heavenly yan. Are you getting this? And in heaven, no more emptiness. No more dryness. In Revelation chapter 22 verse 1, it says, And He showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystals, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. He showed me a pure river of water of life. Wala nang pagkauhaw. Maraming mga tao uhaw sa pag-ibig. Naghahanap ng pag-ibig ng ama, ng ina, ng pamilya, ng tao. Uhaw, ibig sabihin, may empty. May emptiness dito. But in heaven, kapatid, wala na. May water. Kasi yung water, di ba, it represents, kung bagay, ito yung pumapawi ng pagka, oh, natin. Tama? Correct? And this is, ito yung water of life, a river. Hindi ka nauubusan. Busog ka palagi. Sabi nga ng kanta kanina, you satisfy me. You satisfy me. Satisfied ka palagi. Sa langit. Amen? Sa sino lang gusto pumunta sa langit? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Correct? That's heaven eh. And you know what? In Revelation chapter 21, verse 18 to 21, sabi dito, the construction, o sa mga engineer dyan ha, civil engineer, the construction of its wall was a jasper and the city was pure of gold like clear glass. The foundation of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones. So kung babasahin po natin yan hanggang 21, makikita mo dyan yung iba't ibang klaseng stones, yung mga mamahali, mga gems. Wall of, yan yung kumbaga parang yung, 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 yung kalsada, yung street of the city was pure gold, like transparent. That's heaven. Maraming magagandang mga hiyas, mga babato. What the, what, the, anong pinapakita ng Verse na ito. Heaven is a place of prosperity and abundance. So sa langit, kapatid, walang mahirap. Lahat mayaman. Amen? Dahil yun ang desire, yun ang kalooban ng Diyos sa bawat isa po sa atin. Ayaw kayo nang maghirap. Gusto niya managana ka. Kasi kadalasan, marami tayong mga Maraming mga binabatikos yung mga prosperity gospel, mga prosperity preacher. Of course, hindi ko naman ituturo sa inyo yung kiss para yumaman, yung mga formula. Wala namang formula dyan eh. Pero all I know, si Lord gusto niyang managana ang kanyang mga anak. All I know, gusto niyang, gusto niyang mag managana yung mga sumasampalataya sa kanya. 
Dahil lahat ang tinawag ng Diyos from Old Testament to New Testament, nananagana. And if you think na yung pananagana, yung prosperity, is not from God, namimiss mo. Yung promise kasi ganito, kapatid, listen to this. If you think, if you think, poverty is from God, bakit napakayaman sa langit? Correct? If you think, yung kahirapan ay galing sa Diyos, bakit puro cities of gold? Ba't may cities, street, yung street ng gold, puro stones. What does it show us? Bakit may mga mansion? Kasi hindi mahirap si God. Hindi mahirap ang Diyos. Hindi mahirap ang God na sinasamba mo. At hindi niya kalooban sa mga naniniwala sa kanyang mahimang maghihirap dahil magre-reflect yun sa Diyos. Are you getting this, church? Di ba yung king? Gusto niya nananagana yung, kanya, yung tamang king, ha? yung righteous king. Yung mga citizen niya. It, kung ano yung pamumuhay ng citizen niya, nagre-reflect mismo yun sa kingdom. Correct? At of course, kaya nga kapag ka naghihirap, yung citizen, apektado yung kinagrabe. Kor- maraming korupsyon sa bansang ito kasi ang daming may hirap. Di ba? It, 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 it reflects. Pero kapag ka merong mga bansa, wow, grabe, ang yayaman ng mga tao dyan kasi ang ganda ng bansa eh. Kung maga, para bang ang yaman ng bansa na yun. Kung anong, kung anong inire-reflect ng citizen, kapatid, kung ano yung bansa. At sa mga mananampalataya, nire-reflect natin kung ano yung kingdom mo. Nire-reflect mo, kapatid, kung ano yung meron ng Diyos. And if you think, para bang, ang nangyayari, if you think, para bang, ang buhay isang kristyano, ang paglilingkod sa Diyos ay kahirapan, kasi merong bilip ng ganyan eh. When you, when, when, when you are called by God, ah, grabe. Puro problema na. Puro kahirapan na. Ano yun? <laughs> may challenges, may pagsubok, dumadaan, pero hindi yun ang final destination ng mga nananampalataya kay Jesus. Correct? Dahil the Bible says in Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, we will not lack. Because He makes me lie down in green pasture. Si Lord mismo ang nagdadala sa atin, kapatid, sa green pasture. Hindi kanya dinadala sa tabi-tabi. Dahil hindi ka pang tabi-tabi kay Lord. Mahalaga ka sa ating Panginoon. Gusto ng Lord na tayo'y managana. Gusto ng Lord na tayo ay lumakad. Yung bang buhay na isang mayaman, hindi yung, yung may isip mayaman ka, hindi yung isip senti mo. <laughs> Alam mo yun, isip senti mo, pambarya-barya, kapatid, hindi ka pambarya-barya. Sabi nga po ni Pastor Bert sa New Life Alabang, datu ka ha. Correct? Datu ka, mayaman ka kapatid, kasi mayaman yung tatay mo. Hallelujah. Huwag maging isip senti mo. Maging isip mayaman. Dahil mayaman ang tatay mo sa langit. Dahil hindi ka basta-basta. Heaven is a place of prosperity and abundance. Naniniwala ako walang naghihirap doon. Walang naglilimos doon. Correct? Kasi magre-reflect yun kay God. Ay, kapag ka sa heaven, merong mahirap. Ay, akala ko ba perfect na? Gets nyo. So that is heaven. Place where God is. Heaven is a place or destination ng mga sumasampalataya sa Panginoong Isus. Whose name are written in the book of life. Correct? Heaven is a place of prosperity. Ito yung napapawi. Napapawi yung lungkot. Napapawi yung uhaw. Heaven is your home. That is your home. Correct? Heaven is a place for every believer. Heaven is a restoration of the earth. 
So when I study this, kapatid, when I meditate this message, this verse, the ultimate goal of God, ultimate goal is to bring heaven on earth. Amen. Dun, dun, yun, yun, yung holy city. The new Jerusalem. Cities of gold. Mayaman na, mayaman na lungsod. At hindi siya maliit namang na lungsod. There, maraming mga tao. Nakasama mismo nila ang Diyos. And one thing that struck me in this verse, He will dwell with them and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying. There shall be no more pain. That struck me. What does it mean? Wala nang, wala nang doon, doon sa heaven, wala nang parang, wala nang worry, wala nang problem, wala nang fear. Sa heaven, wala nang masasaktan. Correct? Yung mga, ngayon, nasasaktan ka dahil sa pag-iibig, dahil sa ganito, doon wala na kapatid. Hallelujah! Dahil wala nang mag-iiwan sa'yo doon. Hallelujah! Maaring dito sa mundo na iiwan ka. Iniiwan ka pero doon sa langit wala na. Perfect place! Ito yung place na kung saan hinahangad ni Abraham. Ito yung looking forward si Abraham. Hindi ko hindi yung dito sa lupa kapatid. Yung langit. Ito yung city na hinahangad ko in Hebrews chapter 11. Seven. Alam niya kasi, he knows and he understands kung anong ibig sabihin na ito ng promise ng Lord sa kanila. And the good news is that all, our, all, all of the promise of God are yes and we say amen to that. At may katibayan yon when we receive Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit dwells in us, merong garantiya, garantiya na ang lahat ng pangako ng Diyos ay matutupad sa iyo. Maging ang langit. Di ba? Para bang, home is here. Heaven is my home. Heaven is your home. Pero, one thing na nakiyurus ako dito, bakit ito yung pinagpe-pray ni Jesus? Pinapapray sa mga mananampalataya. In this manner, in Matthew chapter 6 kanina, ganito kayo mag-pray. Our Father worth in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bakit, why do you think ipinagpe-pray ni Jesus to ngayon. Correct? Kasi ito, itong, itong sinasabi ko, kapatid, ito in the future eh. Ito yung mangyayari. This is the prophecy sa Revelation after 21. Ito yung ultimate goal. Pero, 2,000 years ago, tinuturo, after ituro ng Panginoong Sokristo, yung Beatitudes, yung principle, Beatitudes, character, tinuro niya rin kung paano kayo mag-pray. Let your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bakit ito ang tinuturo ng ating Panginoong So Christ? Strax me. That, yun yung nag Bakit ito, Lord? And I found out na gusto ng Panginoong So Christ while you are still on earth, maranasan mo ang langit. Amen? Gusto ulit. Gusto ng Panginoong So Christ habang ikaw ay lumalakad dito sa lupa, maranasan mo ang langit. Kasi yun yung goal ng ating Diyos. Maging isa tayo sa Kanya at maging isa ang langit at ang, ang, at ang mundo. Correct? Maging one, maging united. Maging union. Kasi we are expecting or may mga message or may mga teaching na ang, ang itinuturo sa atin, pupunta tayo sa langit. Pero si Jesus, ang sabi niya, dadaling ko ang langit sa'yo. Dadalangin ko ang ibababa ang langit dito. Kahit andito ka pa lang sa, lu- sa lupa, kapatid, you will experience na yung mga, yung, kung ano yung meron sa langit. Kanina, pinakita natin what the heavens looks like. Ano ba meron sa langit? 
Bakit yun ang itinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon sa Kristo? Because the ministry of Jesus Christ here on earth, danilang langit sa mundo, danilang langit sa bawat isa. Anong katibayan? Anong, 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 anong ebidensya na kalooban ng Panginoong sa Kristo na maranasan mo yung langit while still you are here, you're living here on earth. He healed the sick. Tama. In heaven, there's no more pain. Kapag may sakit ka, you are in pain. Kapag may sakit ka, even your emotions dale. Correct? There, there's a lot of worries. Naiiba yung mind mo, naiiba yung perspective mo kasi you are in pain at mahirap ka pag in pain ka. Pero Jesus came here to heal you. To heal your, your sickness o kung may sakit ka man. Naparito siya. And, and yun kapatid, bahagi yun ng langit. Kung ano yung meron sa langit, alam mo yun, yun yung meron sa langit, yung walang may sakit sa langit, kaya naparito siya para dalin yung langit sa bawat isa. Iniisa-isa niya yun. Ano pa? He raised the dead. Pumubuhay ng patay. That's the will of God. Alam mo yung kapatid kasi in heaven, no more death, wala nang may mamamatay. Di ba? Para bang wala nang, wala lang death. What does it mean? Of course, there's a story sa Bible na si Jesus ay bumubuhay talaga ng patay. Example si Lazarus. Kung, kung lalaliman pa po natin, yung ibig sabihin na ito, tayo ay patay sa kasalanan before. Pero binuhay ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Amen? So, ibig sabihin, kapatid, naparito si Jesus para bigyan tayo ng isang buhay na tuloy-tuloy. Correct? Buhay na walang hanggan. Yung buhay na walang hanggan, hindi lang yung panglangit. Even now, you're still here. Of course, the Bible says, sabi nga po sa John chapter 11, verse 25, mayroon ko kung meron po dyan, ito yung time na si Jesus, si Lazaro ay nandun sa may Nandun siya sa may ano, nandun siya sa may uh, libingan. Four days sa nakalibing. Pinuntahan siya ng kapatid, asking for help. At sabi ni Jesus, I am the resur- Jesus said in 11, John chapter 11 verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, but he shall live. Listen to this. He who believes, kanino? Kay Jesus, though He may die, mamamatay tayo, may body, but the good news is, He shall live. So, ibig sabihin, ang final destination mo, kapatid, hindi na yung kamatayan, kundi yung buhay. He shall live. So, ibig sabihin, kapatid, muli kang mabubuhay. So, ibig sabihin, kapatid, kapag tayo po, lahat naman po tayo ay uuwi. Correct? Uuwi. Kaya nga sa mga Kristiyano, ang kamatayan ay hindi pagkatalo. Correct? Umuwi yan sa totoong nagmamayari sa kanya. Correct? Ganon. At hindi siya pagkatalo, kapatid. Although minsan malulungkot ka, mamimiss mo yung mahal mo sa buhay, pero hindi, makikita rin kayo soon. Muwi sa Diyos na nagbamayari. Amen! Hallelujah! So, ibig sabihin, ano pa? Ano pang ginawa ni Jesus dito? He healed the sick, even your emotion, kapag may problema ka emotionally, kapag may problema kayo, kapag may problema in, in married life, in your family, Pinapagaling yun ng ating Panginoon. Even yung pangarap mo, He raised the dead and even your dreams, binubuhay niya. Even yung pag-asa mo, binubuhay niya. Saan galing yun? Panglangit kasi yun. In this world, dudurugin ang pangarap mo dito. Dudurugin ang pag-asa natin dito. Yung nangyayari ngayon, panghihinain ka. Ba't ka pa mag-continue? 
Mahuhawalan ka ng pangarap. Pero ang gagawin mo, mag-survive ka na lang araw-araw, basta mabuhay ka lang, pero wala ka ng goal, wala ka ng vision, wala ka ng destination, basta mag-survive lang ako. Ito yung word set, word mindset ng mundo. Pero kapatid sa heaven, buhay yung pangarap mo. May masaya. Presence of God, there's fullness of joy. Wala nang kalungkutan. Correct? Wala nang, wala nang, wala nang patay na pangarap. Wala nang patay na pag-asa. Wala nang patay na buhay. Lahat ay may buhay. Ibig lahat ang gagawin mo may buhay. Lahat nag-grow. Nakakatawa nga sa heaven po, merong yung mga puno doon, kapatid. Talaga may iba't ibang klaseng bunga. Every month, nagbubunga siya ng iba't ibang klase. Twelve kinds of fruits. Tree of life nandun. Kasi gusto ka ng makasama ng Panginoon habang buhay. Nandun yung tree of life. The purpose of that, para hindi ka na sa kanya mapalayo, para makasama ka niya habang buhay. Ganun ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya nga ba't ka nalulungkot? Akala mo kasi hanggang dito lang ang lahat. Akala kasi natin, hanggang dito lang ang buhay. Kaya naparito si Jesus para sabihin sa'yo, there is much more. Yun yung much more, kapatid. Correct? May nag-aantay sa'yo. May nag-aabang sa'yo. Hindi, hindi lang ito isang lugar, hindi lang ito isang promise lang, hindi lang ito isang opportunities. The best. Hindi mo nga ma-imagine eh. Higit pa sa yung ini-imagine, kapatid. Higit pa sa atin. So, ibig sabihin, He cleansed the leper, cast out demons, pinapalaya yung mga tao sa influensya ng kaaway. Pinapalaya ng Panginoong Sokristo yung mga tao sa influensya ng addiction ng pornography, ng masamang spirito, ng mga bisyo, ng sakit. Naparito ang Panginoong Kristo upang palayain ang mga tao sa kabigatan, sa tanikala ng kasalanan, tanikala ng kaaway, palayain ka sa nakaraan. Naparito ang Panginoong Kristo upang bigyan ka ng isang bagong buhay. Dahil yun ang kalooban ng Diyos sa atin. Yun ang meron sa langit. Kaya napariti siya para extend ang langit maranasan mo, kabatid. Kasi alam ng ating Diyos na kapag wala siya dito, chaotic ang mundo. Chaotic ang buhay ng tao. Chaos ang lahat. The reason why gusto makipag-isa talaga ng Panginoong Diyos sa atin. Dahil mahal na mahal niya tayo. Una in the book of Genesis, in the garden. The reason why God created the Garden of Eden. And listen to this. The hidden It, it, it means a place of happiness. And that is Jerusalem. And you, Jerusalem, na kung saan, kapatid, ito yung lugar na kung saan mag enjoy ka. Masasaya ka na. Hindi ka na malulungkot. Hindi ka na iiyak ng iiyak dahil wala kang pambayad ng ganito, wala kang pambayad ng ganito, wala kang pambayad ng ganito. Everything was already provided. Are you still there? Hallelujah. Heaven. The title of my message, by the way, is Heaven on Earth. Heaven on Earth. Hallelujah. So, yun yung tinti ng Panginoong Sokristo, yung langit, no? Ang galing, no? And to be honest, kapatid, every one of us na naka-encounter kay Jesus, what, what happened to you? What happened to us? Di ba unti-unti tayo nababago? Natanggal tayo doon sa impyerno. Kasi before, ang impyerno palaging umahabol sa atin. Ang buhay natin before, aminan na natin parang impyerno, chaotic, walang sigla, walang liwanag, lahat madilim, malayo ang Diyos. That's our life before. But now, hindi na kapatid. Iba na yung buhay na meron ka. Yung buhay na meron ka, kapatid, ay yung buhay na meron ng Diyos. May liwanag na. And the Bible says, sa langit po, in heaven, we will reign forever. 
At yun ang disenyo ng Diyos sa bawat isa. Maghari ka sa buhay, hindi ka maging biktima, maging victors ka. Correct? That's the will of God. Wow! Kakulor doon nga, no? Kaya pala sinasabi ni, ni Paul, huwag mo masyadong iseset yung mind mo dito sa lupa. Set your mind thing sa panglangit. Misa kasi hanggang dito lang tayo eh. Akala natin hanggang dito lang ang lahat. Pero hindi, kapatid. Hindi yan, hindi na dito ang citizenship. Hindi na ito city mo. Ang city mo ay yung galing sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. So, of course, heaven, Jesus came, before in the garden, may tagpuan, kaya alam, because of sin, naghiwala yan. Correct? Kasi anytime eh, pwede, di ba? Parang alam mo yung parang na-imagine ko nga, kapatid, ito, imagination ko lang to, yung langit at saka yung mundo, talagang connected eh. Kasi wala pang sin that time. Kaya lang naman, nagkaroon ng, ano yan eh, nagkaroon ng, alam mo, hiwala yan because of sin eh. Yun naman talaga humihiwalay sa relasyon, kasalanan. Correct? Kaya nga kapatid, kung ikaw ay mamumuhay sa kasalanan, nakikipaghiwalay ka sa karelasyon mo. At walang ibang gagawin niya kundi hiwala yan. Mamuhay ka sa tama. Mamuhay ka sa katwiran. Of course, nawala yun. But because of, because God loves us so much, nagpagawa siya ng tabernacle kay Moses. Sabi nga, di ba? Kung ano yung pattern dito sa langit, sundin mo dyan, ha? Kung ano yung, kung ano yung ginagawa dito, kung anong meron dito, yan ang gawin mo. Ano yung meron, di ba? Ano purpose ng tabernacle? Para may katagpuan ng mga Israelites. Para magkaroon sila ng tagpuan ng Diyos. Para may encounter nila, marinig nila ang Panginoon kasi gusto talaga ng connection ng Panginoon sa tao. At ang tao, kahit anong gawin mong pilit, hindi mo ka makakakonect based on your effort. Si Lord pa rin mismo makakagawa at gumagawa ng paraan para maranasan mo siya, para maging isa kayo. Kaya alam, alam mo naman, abu, tuloy-tuloy mga kapatid, tuloy-tuloy, tabernakel, ganun, da, nagkasala ng mga tao, sumuway sa Diyos. So si Jesus na mismo ang bumaba. Para magkaroon tayo ng connection sa langit. Ang galing, no? Kaya nga sinasabi sa Bible, sa John chapter 14, verse 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Parang siya yung ating pintuan. I'm the door, sabi niya pati. Parang siya yung ating pintuan, mga kapatid. Na makakarating lang tayo doon sa kinaroroonan ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng Panginoong sa Kristo. Through, his, through Jesus Christ. Hindi ko sino-sinong mga sinasabing sila daw ang misaya, sila daw ang tagapagligtas. Hindi po. Only Jesus Christ is our Savior. Listen to this. Ang Panginoong Kristo lamang mismo ang makapagbibigay sa'yo ng kaharian ng Diyos, ang makapagdadala sa'yo sa kaharian ng Diyos, ang makapagdadala sa'yo sa kalangitan, ang makapagdadala sa'yo sa Diyos. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Savior of this world, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, what does it mean? Jesus. So, now si Jesus, umakit na doon sa kanang trono ng Diyos. Nandun na siya. Iniwanan niya tayo. Iniwanan niya tayo ng ano? Ng Spiritu Santo. Nasa atin ang Spiritu ng Diyos. Spiritu ni Kristo. Spirit. Nandun na siya, nasa kanan, siya, kanan na siya ng trono ng Diyos. Kasama natin ngayon ang Spirito ng Diyos. Upang magpaalam sa atin kung anong meron kay Kristo, kung anong laman ng puso ng Panginoon. He knows the deep things of God. Akala kasi natin in that verse, eh, di ba? Eyes cannot see, kumbaga mind cannot, ano para bang yung beyond in our imagination. Ang ganda lang kasi yung verse eh. Pero because of the Spirit of God, nalalaman natin at nauunawa natin ang Diyos, nakikita natin yung even yung malalim, even yung paraan ng Panginoon, yung nais ng Diyos na maranasan mo. 
Hallelujah. And now, nasa na yung connection ng heaven sa lupa. Sa church. Amen? Listen to this, in this verse. Sabi dito sa Matthew chapter 16, verse 17 to 19, Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Correct? And I also say to you that you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church. Sino yung church? On this rock, dito sa pundasyon na ito, I will build my church. Sino yung church? Us. I will build my church and the gates of hates shall not prevail against it. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid, walang makakatalo dito sa church. Walang makakahadlang dito sa simbahan, sa templo ng Panginoon, na nilika ng Diyos, na tinayo mismo ng Diyos, hindi ng tao. Tayo mismo ang church. Hindi ito building. Building tipo na ng mga mananampalataya, but the church mismo is ikaw at ako. Carrier ka ng presence ng Lord and the gates of aid. AIDS or Hades cannot prevail. Kapatid, ibig sabihin, hindi mananalo maging pintuan ng Hades. Maging yung pakana ng, mga imp- ng impyerno, maging yung pakana ng demonyo, walang makakatalo sa church. Maaring sa situation ngayon, nabibigilan tayo na magsama-sama, mag-gathering, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, talunan na tayo. Hindi ibig sabihin nun, talo ka na. Hindi ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka na makapagsasamba. No one can stop us. No one can stop you. Dahil ikaw ay katawan ni Jesus. Tuloy-tuloy yan, kapatid. And even in the old times, in the, in, in the book of Acts, tuloy-tuloy ang simbahan. Tuloy-tuloy ang paglaganap ng salita ng Diyos. Habang lalo silang pinipigilan, hindi sila nagpapaawat to share the good news kasi alam nila kung anong ibig sabihin na ito. And you know what? I will, I, gusto ko mag-proceed dito sa verse na ito. And it says, And I will give you The keys. Can you please repeat after me? The keys. Suse. Of kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. So, ibig sabihin kapatid, inuwanan ka ng Panginoong Sokristo ng suse. Ano yung suse na yon? Suse ba nagsasakyan ng bahay? Suse ng langit? Kingdom of heaven. What does it mean? Ano ibig sabihin na ito? Pag sinabi mong suse, you can lock the door or you can unlock. Tama. Susi ka ng langit. Ibig sabihin nun, anytime kapatid. Pwede mong buksan ang pintuan to flow heaven in your life while still we are waiting doon mismo sa 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 new city na yon, while still we are here on earth, pwede mag-manifest sa atin here. Kung ano yung meron sa langit. But I want you to focus in this. We have the keys. What does it mean? We have the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And in John chapter 3 verse 1, or verse 3, it says, ito yung time na si Nicodemus, pumunta siya doon, mga kapatid, kay Jesus. He was a preacher, or, alam mo yon, nag-aaral siya ng law, teachers of the law, but he don't understand this. It says, unless, sabi niya dito, most assuredly I say to you, in verse 3, unless one is born again, 
he cannot see the kingdom of God. In Matthew chapter 16, kanina binasa po natin, mga kapatid, we have the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And in this verse, Jesus said to Nicodemus, unless one is born again, kung hindi siya muling, hindi siya muling mabuhay, hindi siya maborn again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. What does it mean? Listen to this, mga kapatid. Born again is not a religion. I repeat, born again is not a religion. Si Lord, ayaw niya ng religion. Hindi niya gusto ang relihiyon. Ang gusto niya, relasyon. Relationship, kapatid. Dahil sa religion, hindi mo masyadong maiintindihan kung anong meron sa Diyos. Pero sa relasyon, kapatid, mauunawaan mo at makikilala mo kung sino siya kapag may relasyon kayong dalawa. Kasi karamihan ng tawa, kala natin kapag sumali tayo sa isang religion, kapag may religion tayo neto, sumali tayo ng iba't ibang klaseng religion, lalo nating makikilala ang Diyos. Hindi! Pinipigilan mo lalo si Lord na makilala mo siya. Gusto ng Panginoon, relationship. Gusto ng Panginoon, ikaw mismo. Punta sa Kanya. Unless you must be born again. Hallelujah. What does it mean? We have the keys. Unless you must be born again. Meron tayong susi ng Kingdom of Heaven. Pinakita natin kanina mga kapatid kung anong meron sa langit. Heaven is It's a place that where you can find rest, where you can find hope. Heaven is a place that where you can find peace. There is light. There's no more pain. Heaven is a place that we can, even yung mga dreams natin, buhay, hindi na patay, hindi na tayo nangyayina. Heaven is a place that everything was already provided. Hindi tayo magkukulang. Hindi ka na mangungutang. We, you have the keys. We have the keys. What does it mean, church? You have the keys. If you share Jesus Christ, you let heaven to come into the lives of people. To, to those people who are hopeless. To who are in pain. To who are in pain right now. Meron ako nakausap kahapon. And before that, I pray to God, Lord, show me your glory. And the good thing is talaga kanina yung kanta natin. It's all about glory. And I was waiting for His glory to come. And He sent me a person who are in pain, who are broke, who are in need. Hindi niya nalang gagawin niya. Amen. Puro ng kadiliman. Puro ng problema. Mawawala na ng pag-asa. And all I have is Jesus And I share Jesus. And he received Jesus Christ. And this man was freed. Ang bigat ng pag-usap namin. After namin mag-usap, gumana kanyang pakiramdam. Guma- lumay. Because that's the purpose of Jesus. To bring heaven to your life. To bring heaven into those people who are in sickness to heal them. And you have the keys, church. Ba't nananahimik ka? Ba't ang tahi-tahimik mong simbahan ka? Anong ginagawa mo sa susi na ipinagkatiwala sa'yo ng Panginoon? Anong ginagawa mo dyan? Tinatabi mo lang ba? We have the keys. And not only that, kapatid, 
hindi lang ito patungkol sa mga wala pang relasyon sa Diyos. But also to those people, even Christians right now, are suffering right now. And they think, wala na silang matawag na home. Wala na silang tahanan. Because of problems, because of I don't know. But I just want to encourage you guys. Everyone is facing right now. Kasi nandito pa tayo sa langit. But listen to this. Nandito pa tayo sa lupa. But listen to this. May pag-aasa. Meron kang Jesus. At hindi gusto ng Panginoong Diyos na manahan ka dyan. May, may magandang plano siya sa'yo. Do not be troubled. Do not be dismayed. The Lord is with you. You have Jesus Christ. God is with you. God is with you. Hindi ka niya iiwan. Iiwan ka ng ibang tao. Bitawan ka ng ibang tao. Hindi ka niya bibitawan. Mahal na mahal ka ng Panginoon. At hindi lamang ikaw yon. And even those people right now na nahihirapan. And if that is you, and if you think, para bang, Lord, gusto kong maranasan niyang heaven na yan. Gusto kong mangyari sa akin yan, yung heaven na yan. Lord, touch me. Touch me. That is you. You think, para bang, no more, wala na yung dreams mo, wala na pag-asa, wala na yung pangarap mo. You think, Lord, malayo si Lord sa'yo. You think, that is you. Or if you know someone, you can share this. That is you. Can you raise your hand? If that is you, if you want, if you want heaven to flow in your life, because yun yung tema natin. Eh. That's the prayer of Jesus Christ. So it means, kapatid, pwede siyang mangyari while still we are here on the earth. Although may challenges, although may pagsubok, pero sabi ng Word of God, back up mo ang langit. Ibig sabihin, nasa likuran mo ang langit, kapatid. Hindi ka iiwan ng langit. Hindi ka iiwan ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. If that is you, Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Larare. If that is you, can you raise your hand? and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord. Receive the, the gift of God, the best gift ever in our lives. Oh, Jesus. If that is you, if you don't have any relationship right now, kay Jesus, please repeat after me, Jesus. Sabihin mo, Panginoong Jesus, Jesus, forgive me. Forgive my sins. Patawarin mo ako sa kasalanan ko. Patawarin mo ako, Lord, sa pagkukulang ko. Patawarin mo ako, Lord, kung nasaktan kita. And now, Lord, I surrender my heart to you. I surrender my life to you, Jesus. Take my life. Ikaw na ang nagmamayari sa akin. Isinusuko ko ang lahat sa iyo. Everything na nagbababigat sa akin. I surrender my life to you, Jesus. Lord, touch my life right now. Touch my life right now. Hallelujah. O, buksan mo ang langit, Panginoon. Buksan mo ang langit, Lord God. So, radarabande, radararabando. O, dalalararare. O, open the gates of heaven. Open the gates of heaven, Lord God, and pour out, pour out your spirit. Pour out, Lord God, every perfect gifts, Panginoon, kung anong meron sa langit, so be it in our life, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So be it. Jesus. Honda na la rabande rabande ride Oh if you if you feel right now if you are if you feel pain or if you are in pain right now I rebuke that and cancel that pain in the name of Jesus 
right now. At kung meron kang sakit at karamdaman, cancer man, or sis, or anumang sakit sa iyong puso, sa kidney problem, or even sa blood, maging sa ugat, sakit even sa balat, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak healing. Receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you want breakthrough in your life, I declare that God is your provider, that God will supply all your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Hindi ka na magkukulang. Hallelujah! At kung in pain ka because of your relationship, your family, your loved ones, your married life. I declare restorations right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, I declare. At mas lalo kayong magmamahalan at mas lalo kayong mas lalong magiging matamis ang yung pagsasama in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for today. Thank you, Lord God, for, for your word. Salamat, Panginoon, that there is hope. There is hope. May pag-asa. May pag-asa, Panginoon. Marami pong salamat and we love you and we honor you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray and everyone says, Amen and Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. Amen. Praise God. Sobrang natouch ako ng Panginoon. And marami pong salamat sa time na ito. Thank you for, for your times, for your effort. Pinili mo na umatin to receive the word from God. But my prayer encouragement to you, just continue to trust God. Just continue to, to, to receive from Him. There is much more, kapatid. Heaven na pinag-uusapan natin dito, kapatid. Hindi na more on earth. More in heaven na, kapatid. Just receive it by faith. And I just want to thank all the volunteers, staff, yung mga kasama ko po ngayon dito. Worship lahat po ng naging part, even the chat chair, the chat host, yung mga behind the scene. Marami pong salamat. Uh, ito yung mga klaseng taong hindi nagpapaawat, mga unawatable. Hallelujah. God bless you. At lahat na ginagawa mo hindi sayang. And via po my pastor, Pastor Edson, Pastor Amara, and also my wife, Peta Bonita, and all the leadership of this team. Marami pong salamat. God bless you. And see you next Sunday. <laughs>